Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisal Gikadam and today we are going to talk about RPA certification. So coming straight to the point that many people have asked me this question and they want to know how and which RPA certification they should select. Now, many times there's a confusion in mind and most of the people are asking me the question that there are two types of certifications which UIPAR provides as RPA certification which are paid certifications, obviously, apart from the academic certifications, uh, which is one associate and another is RPA advanced standard. Okay. So which one we should do and which one is suitable for our job role? Now, this question has been asked many times that I had to create a video on this so that I can clarify all the questions, all the doubts, and you can uh, get a straight away pointer from this particular video that which certification that you should do in order to uh, you know, justify your role in your organization. So before wasting time, let's get started. So first of all, uh, if you want to know more about RPA certification of UiPath, just navigate to uipath.com slash learning slash certification. Okay. You can also navigate to academy.uipath.com. And from here, you can navigate to certification where you can look at this UiPath certified RPA associate. And another one is UiPath certified advanced RPA developer. Okay. So there are two types of certifications, which you can see here. One is UIRPA and another one you can see here UIARD. Okay. So which one we should complete and which one we should target and why we should target. Now, if you navigate to academy.uipart.com, if you log in, and if you navigate here in certification, you can clearly read this out that they have clearly mentioned here, this particular certification, which is UIRP, UIPath Certified RP Associate is specifically is suitable for RP roles such as junior RP developer, where you are entering in RP industry, when you, you are just an entry level developer, or you are a fresher who is joining the organization just as a fresher and who wants to uh, you know achieve some advanced certification. So here you go. As a junior RP developer, you can go ahead and you can get UiPath certified RP associate. You can if you are RPA architect. Now for RPA architect, he doesn't he he should uh, he is not uh, you know. Uh, asked to have high level technical knowledge or core technical knowledge. So RP architect also can complete the UI path certified RP associate certification. Solution architects, obviously business analyst. Yes, because they just have, uh, they just have to know what RP is all about, what UI path is all about. And without knowing the capabilities of tool, without knowing the capabilities of a specific RPA product, you can't, uh, you know, perform business analyst role. You can't justify that role. So in order to become an RPA business analyst, you have to complete UiPath certified RPA associate certification. If you are a college graduate, I just said, if you are a college graduate, you should complete UiPath certified RPA associate and others. Okay. Now UI RPA is first step for professionals who want to build and assess their knowledge and skills toward their journey to become advanced RPA developer, solution architect, or RPA architect. If, if you are in a journey to become that, if you have just entered the RPA industry from any other industry, then you can get started with the certification and you can start your career with the certification, right? So this is an entry level certification for these many types of job roles. So I hope this is pretty much clear now. And we will talk about some more points about UiPath certified RPA associate. So let's navigate to uipath.com slash learning slash certification. So if you want to achieve or if you want to complete this certification, you can see here, this one below. You can select the exam and you can choose which exam you which exam is right for you right now here is option which tells you check out free training on UiPath Academy so in order to learn and in order to prepare for RP associate training you don't have to actually attend some classes or you don't have to go to some uh, trainings you can complete it for free of cost from UiPath Academy which is academy.uipath.com you just have to type in academy.uipath.com and you can check out all these courses. If you click on learning by role, you can check out all these courses. I'll, I'll talk about this later. So first of all, we'll talk about this one. So if you want to complete, if you want to learn, uh, and if you want to crack this RP associate exam, then they have given you here path to learn that. Now let's go to that particular PDA, which opens. In order to learn, in order to complete the RP certification, associate level certification, what training options you want. So either, you should have RPA starter course. Okay. <laughs> it's, it sounds more of like a dish, but yeah, RPA starter course, RPA developer foundation learning plan, 
automated automation version control system course okay so these are the three courses that you should you you have to complete or you have to learn if you want to prepare yourself right so you there is it is written you are part academy self learning so you have to navigate to you are part academy now you can see there are many courses here so if i click on learning by role i can see rps citizen developer which is in spanish i don't know that okay so rps citizen developer foundation in english i have not completed it yet rps developer foundation this is what you need if you check this rpa developer foundation learning plan you need right then you need rpa developer advance if you want to complete rpa developer advance then you can complete that one also now there is again business analyst foundation solution architect foundation implementation manager so so there are so many role bases as per your job role there are courses which they have already given right which are all here now also if you go to courses and if you try to find out the courses you can see here course language you can find out course in your own language if i select english uh then if i go to category i can say rp starter so this is a course which is rp starter which you should complete in order to get started with rp and understanding of rp then there is some new releases if you want to you know choose the new releases you can choose that you can choose product training community tutorials and from products you can also choose which product you want to learn so there are product specific uh you know trainings or courses also available on academy so academy is pretty much helpful when you want to learn a particular tool or particular knowledge now if you are entering in rpa as a starter uh, as a as a fresher right and if you if you want to grow your career in rpa then you should consider joining academy and start learning from academy from scratch okay now if you have completed this three trainings by self learning you are good to go for associate rpa in developer examination uh also there is given or so or you might have completed ui path rp aligned courses at ui path academic alliance if you belong to any college where you have given training of academic alliance institution then you can also appear for this examination or other training or self learning sources that cover the subject listed in the documents to prepare now other trainings and subjects listed in the document to prepare for the exam so what are the subjects listed so hands on experience what hands on experience you need so you need developing an attended process developing an unattended process proof of concept and creating some demonstrations experience in resolving application changes or code changes and peer code review so you should at least have hands on experience of all this even if you don't have that doesn't make you you know not applicable for the course don't worry about that even if you don't have this experience that's okay but this is something which you you should have i mean you know it's uh, it's good to have hands on experience is good to have but even if you don't have hands on experience don't worry you can simply go through the courses from academy you can simply learn this practice on your own create some bots you know after that once you start learning once you complete your learning once you complete your practices and once you feel that you're ready then click on the exam preparation click on the rp associate practice test and go for the practice test if you crack the practice test in the first go and if you crack the practice test with a little nice or higher score then you you know you are ready but if you don't crack the practice test go back and study the weak points what you have uh, on on which questions you have given wrong answer where you have failed and try to resolve that try to answer those questions okay so that's all about ui path certified certified professional which is you know rp associate training now we will talk about one of the more uh you know most asked question and most important exam which is rpa advanced developer exam okay now when you when we talk about advanced developer exam you get a little bit scared but don't worry about that it's because it's not that scary if you are experienced rpa developer now let me go to the certification so share my words very properly okay so if you have ui path experience or if you have development experience where you have developed couple of projects developed couple of applications or automations right now you are part certified advanced rp developer what all things you need so the first thing what they have written is assesses a deeper level rp expertise covering a robotic enterprise framework read this word very carefully robotic enterprise framework why because most of the questions from advanced rp developer examination will be based on rpa robotic enterprise framework which is nothing but we call it as re framework if you go to our project then you can see here in the start there is always a re framework template here right robotic enterprise framework so we are talking about this framework now 
and your ability to build complex and efficient RPA solutions independently, right? Recommended for candidates with six plus months of working experience in developing RPA solution. Now, this was not written in the associate level examination, correct? So don't worry about that. If you want to crack advanced RPA developer examination, then you must have at least six months of experience working as an experienced developer or as an experienced RPA solution developer independently, okay, not in a team where you are getting support, where you are automating only a small piece of part. No, you at least should have six months of individual independent RPA development or RPA workflow building experience. Now, this course is for more technical and core technical people, right? Such as RPA developer, solution architect, RPA architect, and others. Now you might have seen solution architect and RPA architect is repeating here. Now the earlier examination was for those who are entering in RPA as a solution architect fresher, right? Or as a new, so they are already solution architect in .NET and C Sharp and some other technology and they want to jump into RPA as a solution architect. For them, the associate examination is okay. But if you are in, if you are working on RPA uh, as a solution architect since long time, if you are working as an RPA architect since long time, then you must have RPA advanced developer examination, right? So, sorry, certification. Now, before we go ahead with what all things we need, let's jump on to the document. So this is the document which is provided for how to crack or what are the tips and tricks for cracking UiPath advanced RPA developer exam, right? So this document is pretty big rather than associate. It was only one page and this is seven page document. Okay, so important alert. We are continuously monitoring internet activities for any science and cheating misguided information. We are aware that a large number of websites who are selling fake exams, charging substantial prices for them. We will take immediate action if you find any real exams have been compromised. Please do not spend money or rely on such clients. So remember, this is authentic, too much authentic, okay? Now, in the introduction, they have given what is this examination for, what is the certification for, and why you should crack it. What is the target audience? So target audience is obviously RPA developer, who is a core technical person in every organization, in every RPA team, and roles requiring RPA developer expertise, such as RPA architect, solution designer, RPA engineer, solution architect, process automation architects. Okay. Now, minimum quali qualified candidate. Who is minimum qualified candidate for this particular examination? So the minimum qualified candidate is at least six months of experience as an RPA developer, preferably completed format of RPA, formal RPA training and at an advanced level with an extensive hands-on experience and technically proficient and possesses the knowledge and skills to work independently. Okay, so you should be at least capable of independently creating your own workflows, right? Not your own workflows, but some automations. Now let's talk about products. So products covered in the exam are 2019.10 Studio, 2019.10 Robot, 2019.10 Orchestrator. They have mentioned specifically products because questions will be based on that. So this reading this document is really important. You should know about this. Don't blindly go for the exam. Don't just blindly go for the exam. Study all these things. Okay. Then what are the exam domains and exam sections? So UiPath Studio. They ask you a lot of questions about UiPath Studio, UiPath Studio activities and their properties. UiPath RE framework is one of the most important questionnaire in this particular examination. Then .NET classes and objects, advanced functions, error handling, troubleshooting, advanced orchestrator functions. Now the exam topics will be mostly based on all these points which I have mentioned right here, right? All these things. And they have just explained what will be the exam topics right below here. So this document is must to read if you want to crack this particular examination. You must read this document or you must read this document before you start even preparing for this particular examination, okay? Now, advanced orchestrator function. So describe how to work with the orchestrator queues and assets. Environment applications and the tools. So again, you should have minimal qualified candidate uh, should be comfortable with working with the following environments such as software development lifecycle, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Office Suite, JSON and XML, .NET, BBC Sharp, Visual Studio is optional, okay? So also virtual machines, VM, ERPs, browsers, web page elements, version control. So if you have not worked on VM, that's not, that's not a problem, that's fine. But still prepare some questions, uh, prepare some uh, you know, background about it, get some knowledge about it. UiPath Studio, RE Framework, and Roma. All these things are in uh, repeating. Recommended training. Now this is the most important part. What you should be trained on before you even apply or before you even start 
uh, working for this advanced RPA developer examination. So you should have RPA starter course, again, the DISH, the RPA developer foundation, RPA developer advanced learning foundation, which in academy, if you go here in learning by role, you can find it pretty easily that RPA developer foundation, RPA developer advanced, okay? Then introduction to logging course, Okay, so logging mechanism, you should know about logging mechanism. Invoke method, invoke code courses, okay? Automation version controlling systems such as Git, TFS, SVN, you should know about that. And other self-learning sources that cover up the subjects listed in the documents, right? Now, what is the hands-on experience you need in order to appear for this examination? So it involves end-to-end -end process development, perform. If you are involved in end-to-end -end, uh, development process, then you are applicable for this particular uh, exam or you can give this particular exam. Uh, so this is the hands-on experience which is needed at least. Performing UiPath code review of your peers, uh, providing project support, hypercare support, production support. You can, if you are in a production support, you can, that, that's considered as a hands-on experience. Providing maintenance and support, creating uh, and reviewing project specifications, debugging and fixing production bugs. So you, you should know about debugging the production bugs, fixing the production bugs, adding features to existing automation processes. So these are all the things that are good to have as a hands-on experience if you want to appear for this examination. That's not must, that's not a mandatory category, but these are good to have hands-on experience, certain points, okay? Then you go ahead and once you complete all these parameters, all this previous trainings, hands-on experience, then go for RPA, practice test, advanced RPA developer practice test. Also, you can find this video, which I have uploaded on my YouTube channel long time back, which is about how to crack UiPath Advanced RPA Developer Examination practice test. This is not, I'm not leaking anything. So UiPath, please don't ban this video, okay? So this is about how to crack the RPA Developer practice test. In the practice test, what types of questions will be asked? And I have answered all these questions and I have explained in detail the functions and what, what perspective you should think about. And I, and I scored 98% in the practice examination test. So once you at least achieve more than 80%, more than 80 to 90%, then you are confident enough to appear for such examination because it's going to be very tough. Believe me, it's very tough. Okay. And then finally, the exam details they have mentioned here, the, the examination, the certification track is UiPath Certified Professional Developer Track, Advanced RPA Developer UI ARD, and it's exam of 120 minutes, right? 70% uh, is the passing score and exam fee is $200. For the RP associate exam fee is $150. Uh, so, so it depends on which one you can attend. Also, uh, you know, prerequisites they have mentioned here, uh, though not a prerequisite, UiPath certified associate RP developer is strongly recommended for those who are interested in achieving UI ARD. So first examination, which is a $150, which is the associate examination is strongly recommended if you want to appear for UI ARD. But if you don't have that certification, that's also okay because it's not a mandatory. So they have mentioned that though it's not a prerequisite, though it's not mandatory, but it's strongly recommended so that you at least know that you can crack that exam so you can definitely crack this exam, okay? If you have the enough knowledge. So that's all about the RPA associate examination and RPA advanced examination. On the learning portal, on the, on the learning certification page, you can definitely find here the practice test for where it is. Okay, so you can find here the practice test for associate exam, practice test for advanced RP developer exam. Okay, so you can go ahead and practice both of these exams and then come back to academy. So coming back to academy, I just wanted to tell you that there are so many courses available. There are so many things which are new to UiPath Academy. Now, if you are a starter, if you are a fresher, if you want to start your career in RPA and you don't know how to start, when to start, where to start, right? So first thing you should start is RPA, where was that? Mm -hmm. RPA starter. So let me go to RPA starter. In the RPA starter, you should first of all get started with, why? okay, I'm in learning by rule, sorry. So let me go to the courses. That's my dashboard. Let me go to the courses. So in the courses, if you go to category, if you say RPA starter, so first of all, complete RPA starter course, which is a four hours, which is a theoretical, theoretical course. It's not a practical course, okay? basic theoretical course, but this will give you idea about what is RPA, right? If you are a starter, I'm just telling you, if you're a starter, if you're a fresher. So, so complete this course, then come to learning by role. In the learning by role, complete your 
RPA Developer Foundation, which is 39 hours of course, then complete RPA Developer Advanced course. Okay. RPA Developer Foundation course, then RPA Developer Advanced course, then complete. If you want to learn further, then go ahead and uh, you know start learning the which one what is it? Business analyst course. You can all, anytime learn business analyst course because that is always helpful. And then if you want to learn more courses, then go for you know courses by category, and you can anytime learn security and some other courses pretty easy from here. In my dashboard, you can see the achievements. So once you complete certifications, you can see all your achievements like this. You can see there are so many. Uh, which you can also download from here, which downloads like a PDF. Look at this. So once you complete any of the training, you get a certification like this, you know, which looks pretty much awesome, right? You can put it on your resume, you can put it on your uh, file. So th this is good to have. So these are the basic diplomas that you must have from Academy of Yorba. So that's all about it. And uh, we, we wanted to talk today about more about certification because so many people are asking me this question and I wanted to make it totally clarified when you should appear for UiPath uh, you know, certified RP associate, uh, RP associate certificate and when you should, uh, uh, you know, when you are eligible for advanced RPA certificate. So I hope you now have a clarified state of mind. You are now completely uh, you know, clear with the thoughts and you're ready to go for the certification. So let me know in the comment section if this video has helped you a lot and let me know uh, you know, if you have appeared for examination, if you want to appear for examination, if you have started after watching this particular video, let me know in the comment section. That would be more helpful for me. Thank you so much and see you soon on my YouTube video again with some another tutorial. Have a great day.